everyone. So in this video, we're going to take a look at the Disney fairy tale designer collection Elsa and Hans dolls and specifically the ones that were from D23 Expo where Elsa is in her coronation outfit and Hans is in his white outfit. This was actually my favorite duo out of all the ones in the set. So I was super ecstatic that it was available at D23. And I know Hans is not very well liked. He's a bad guy, kind of a skis, but I actually really like his character. And for Elsa, her coronation outfit is my favorite. And so I was super happy to pick this up. Now the outer sleeve is not in the best shape since just a few days ago my cats decided they wanted to chew the bottom of it and so there are teeth holes in it which is unfortunate but at the same time I don't plan on ever selling this and I don't display it with the sleeve on obviously so it's not that big of a deal but it's still pretty sad. So as you can see on the front we have Elsa and Hans. The background it has a matte finish and then where the characters and logos are it has a glossy finish. At the top it says Disney Fairy Tale Designer Collection in black and gold. Very pretty. And at the bottom Elsa and Hans and the base is plastic and it's painted black with some gold on top. On this side we have Elsa alone. And then on the other side we have Hans. And then on the back it shows them both again and gives some information. It says, Disney's designer fairy tale collection brings together the legendary heroes and villains you love in a series inspired by your favorite Disney fairy tales. Disney store artists have captured the timeless struggle between good and evil in magnificent detail, conveying both the wonderful wickedness and bold heroic spirit of these unforgettable characters. Rich, evocative, and dramatic, the Disney designer fairy tale collection will be a treasure keepsake for collectors and Disney fans alike and then it repeats it in French underneath. Then below that it shows some of the details of the dolls. The first one says, a subtle traditional pattern and gold edging adorn the elegant bodice. And then underneath, where it should say the same thing in French, it actually repeats the exact same thing in English, so that is a mistake on the box. Over here it says, dashing debonair tailcoat is embellished with two-tone embroidery and metallic buttons. And over here, regal and dramatic Elsa's flowing cape is embellished with intricate artwork and gems. And then at the bottom it says, Elsa is royalty personified in her regal teal gown enhanced with gorgeous multi-hued traditional patterns. One thing that bothers me a little bit about this is that here it shows a close-up of his epaulette and it doesn't have that detail on the actual doll, it's just solid gold plastic, yet they do a close-up of the detailing on it on the back which does not match the doll. So that's a little strange. Then on the top, it just says Disney Fairy Tale Designer Collection again. All right, now that we've had a pretty good look at the box, let's take a look at the dolls inside. So taking a look at them from afar, we have Elsa who is standing there all majestically like a queen and she's holding her scepter and orb and she's got on her crown and her coronation outfit. And then Hans has on his white outfit and he's standing with an arm up. Kind of looks like he wants to backhand Elsa, <laughs> but yeah, not much exciting about his pose. So now let's take a closer look at the dolls. Starting with Elsa, here's a close up of her face. I love how they do eyelashes on these limited edition dolls. It makes them look so much prettier much better than the painted on eyelashes and her face is very nicely painted her hair is nicely shaped and her crown is quite nicely sculpted and has a little blue detail in the middle one thing that is a little odd about her hair is in the back if you look at it from the side her bun is very long and sticks out really far from her head even before the twist forms it's just the base of her hair really sticks off a lot so it's a little odd but when you're seeing it from the front or from a three-quarter view you don't even notice so that's all right so moving down to the bodice there are a lot of gemstones and embroidery which I think make this a really beautiful doll there's embroidery up at the top of the cape on the upper chest and down by her rib cage and then there is gold trim around the top of her bodice Looking at her orb now, there's actually quite a bit of detail in it. 
Her gloves, however, are a little odd. I know they can't do fingered gloves on these kinds of dolls because they don't have individual fingers, but it still looks a little loose and messy, especially with the elastics around it. So that part doesn't look the best. Taking a look at her scepter, again, just like the orbit has quite a bit of detail and it's quite a nice prop and a nice addition to the doll, I think. Now looking at the bottom of her dress, tons of embroidery and gemstones, so beautiful. And I love teal and pink a lot, so I think this is absolutely gorgeous. I think the only slightly weird thing is the texture of the fabric. It doesn't at all match the texture of the fabric in the movie, but uh, maybe more soft fabric just didn't look as good. I don't know. They obviously chose this for a reason. It does look nice and shiny, I'll admit that. So. I still think it's really nice. So now let's move on to Hans. His face is pretty nice looking. What I don't really like so much is his hair. I wish they did actual hair instead of just having it be plastic because I think the plastic makes it look a little cheap. And also the hair is not perfectly painted. On the side that shows, underneath his ear, there's some skin color there where the hair was not painted. And the other side is even worse. There's a huge section of the sideburn that is not properly painted, but luckily we don't see that side, so it's all right. Here's a look at his epaulets that don't look anything like they do on the back of the box. I think they could have put a little more detail into there and maybe painted some red onto it because they did paint some blue detailing onto Elsa's accessories that were made of plastic, so I feel like they could have painted the top red. Looking at his suit, I love how he has several layers and there are different types of fabrics. It looks awesome and the gold embroidery is beautiful. So I think this is my favorite part of his outfit, obviously, especially the band around his waist. I think it looks amazing. And that's the kind of fabric I think Elsa's dress should have been made out of. Maybe it's a little too thick, but it's that velvety type of fabric. I think that would have looked really gorgeous. But uh, yeah, so that's my favorite part of Hans. Looking at the back of his jacket, you can't see it too well because it is up against the plastic that's holding them up, but you can see a bit of the detailing back there. Once again, the mittens don't look very good. They're just weird, plus they're so white, whereas his suit is off-white, so it doesn't even match, In the, the texture doesn't match either. So it's just really odd. I feel like he should just be barehanded. Moving on down to the boots, I love characters, male characters especially, with tall boots. And so I like this. <laughs> and I like the stitching at the top, it's a nice detail. And then also he has scuff marks painted on. And on the upper part of the boot, it's, it's acting like a highlight to make it look like his boots have creases in them. And then on the bottom of the boot, towards the toe, you can see more scuff marks to add some more detail. I know he's royalty, he probably would have, well, I mean, they'd still have scuff marks, but I feel like because he's royalty, he would get new boots quite often, nice shiny ones, but I still think it's a nice detail. I'm glad they added it. All right, so that's your close-up look of the dolls. I'm just gonna move around to the back and show you what the back of this case looks like. So again, at the top, we have the Disney fairy tale logo, then we have a picture of Elsa and Hans, and at the bottom is the Certificate of Authenticity, which all the limited edition dolls have, and mine is number 162 out of 1,023 for D23. So, yep, that's what the back looks like. So that is it for my show and tell of the Disney Fairy Tale Designer Collection, Elsa and Hans dolls. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you want to see more videos of me showing off collectibles or unboxing toys, then be sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.